Hello, this is Paulino, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best practices for using the screen share feature on your Google Plus Hangouts on Air. Before starting everything, once you open the Hangout, I strongly suggest that you put the Hangout on its own window, on a separate window. As you can see here in this browser, I have a tab for the Hangout and for a couple of documents. You want to separate each document and the Hangout on its own window. I'm using Chrome, so what I do is I click and hold on the tab and move it out to separate it to its own window. I will do the same with the two documents that I want to share. Now each document is on its own window. I also have opened a couple of documents on my computer. This PowerPoint presentation and this Microsoft Word document. And I'll show you how to share those as well. Remember when you are in a Hangout on Air, everything that you as the host see, it's what people outside the Hangout will see and also what gets recorded. So in this case, for example, you can see in the film strip my thumbnail, which is a rectangle, and it says you, and a secondary camera, which could be a student, and you see the film strip as a square. When I click on those thumbnails, a white square or rectangle will appear. That means that video is pinned. That video will show no matter who is talking or making noises during the Hangout. So I strongly suggest that you as the host or the teacher pin your own video, just click on the thumbnail that says you, and whatever you're showing or sharing will be visible to people outside the Hangout and it's what gets recorded. So now I'm ready to do screen share. I have pinned my video, and now is when I would normally click the Start Broadcast button. For this tutorial, I don't need to broadcast this video, but I will move my cursor around so that the icons on top and on the left appear, and click the Screen Share application. It's a green rectangle with a white arrow. When I click on it, I see all my different options. The first one is full screen, and I never use it, because if you share your full screen, you will share every single movement you do, moving from one screen to another, your desktop. What you really want is to select the exact document that you want to share. In this case, I want to share this Microsoft Word document that I have opened. I click on it, I select it, and I click Start Screen Share. As soon as I do that, I will be on that document. But if I go back to the Hangout, I use the Alt and Tab key to move between windows. You can see that that's what I'm sharing. I'm sharing that document. That's what people inside and outside of the Hangout see, and also what gets recorded. To stop sharing that document, just click the Screen Share button again, and we're back to video. If I want to share a slideshow on Google Drive, for example, first I would click Present to start the presentation. Then go back to the Hangout, and when you click Screen Share, now you'll see that you have that option the Google Slide presentation. I click and select it and, and click Start Screen Share so that people see the full presentation and not the editable document. If you're doing it from PowerPoint on your computer, I will first go to the document and start the slideshow, then go back to the Hangout. Remember, if you're on a PC, you can use Alt and the Tab key to move between windows. Now, when I click Screen Share, I have both options. I can share the PowerPoint slideshow, 
or the PowerPoint document. We don't want to share the document to see what we can edit. We want to share the presentation and click Start Screen Share. So I can move through the presentation and that's what I will be sharing on the Google Hangout. Now, if I go to the PowerPoint document and add some text, in the presentation, it gets updated automatically. But people don't need to see that I am editing the document. They can just see the presentation. And click on the screen share button and back to video. I think it's very useful to use Google Drive with slides and docs because you have them available everywhere where you have internet. But if you're not used to using those documents on Google Drive, you can use the documents on your computer. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video or contact me directly. Thank you for watching. Gracias.